Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Pisces, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Pisces, Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords and the Sun card. All right. Somebody wants to open up. They want to talk. Yep, they've been watching. They've been spying. But now I think they're getting a little fed up uh, of the no communication. This person doesn't want to have a missed opportunity. They don't want to have a missed opportunity. But I think they are spying because they somewhere feel that person is a little upset or angry with them. They, this, Whoever this individual is, they do want to restore peace and harmony back into this connection so let's see what's going to happen i'm going to clarify all these cards for you pisces of course but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these oops pisces and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person. All right. And just a few more Pisces from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person. All right. Good to go, Pisces. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, My soul is awakening. I'm coming back for you soon. Meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm working hard on myself to be a better provider for you. I'm having a lot of thoughts about you. I want to hold you tight in my arms and never let you go. My love, I'm missing you so much at this moment. Do you miss me too? Why do you try and downplay our connection? Even when you know the importance it holds, you know who we are to each other. Why do you try and dismiss it? This really cuts deep, like a knife to the heart. Loving you is the most natural, yet scary thing I've ever done. I haven't apologized because I don't feel deserving of your forgiveness. I haven't been able to forgive myself for how I treated you. You talk about me, you talk with me about our future and building our life together. However, when your intentions don't align with your actions, I feel I can't trust you. To rebuild a solid, stable foundation, integrity and consistency are essential for me to feel safe in this connection. I'm willing to offer an olive branch to you if I'm able to communicate with you. I would gladly accept an olive branch from you. I long for peace and I miss you. I told you somebody wants to bring back the peace and harmony back into this connection. They want to come back. I want to protect you, steal your smiles, stop your tears and wake up to kiss you every morning. I want to show you that you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. All right. So Pisces, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first... An angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Pisces gang with today. As a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Pisces. Pray. Maybe somebody needs to pray or they are praying, waiting for a miracle to happen or something. But Pisces, that this card was meant for you so well. If you are praying, then be very mindful of your prayers. Don't give mixed signals to the universe. Say, yeah, like I want them, but I don't trust them. Or, you know, I want to be with them, but they are mean and they are rude. And, I, you know, they are going to 
do this that like don't give mixed signals that's all i'm saying because that's not the law of my manifestation when you pray for something you have to believe with in it with your full heart and soul so all right so let's start the reading now so four of uh, four of coins four of pentacles in reverse spirit four of pentacles in reverse yeah somebody is a bit depressed that their person has let them go or has turned their back or cut them out i think they could be a little depressed about that ace of swords ace of swords yeah right somebody is ready now to take responsibility uh, your pisces believe it or not they are ready it's, it's become clear to them why it's become clear to this person as to why why their person has cut them out why why have they turned their back towards them they're recognizing it's because of their own foolish and wise choices of the past maybe this person was behaving like a player or behaving immaturely or um, you know maybe lying cheating ghosting running away playing runner chaser games they have come to some kind of a aha moment in their life where they say oh my god i see it clearly that was really foolish of me that i i didn't put in any work i was so foolish i was fool card i was so foolish i never tried to make it work and no wonder it collapsed this connection collapsed this person is now ready to take responsibility they want to come forward because that now they've realized they are not happy without that person the sun is in reverse in their life but they want to bring it back the second next card is the sun upright this person definitely wants to bring back the happiness the joy they have made up their mind about something let's find out what first tell me about the sun card what's the sun card yes they are manifesting their sunshine back this person is manifesting to bring back the happy times they they tell me about the lovers in reverse okay yes i think this person wants to have victory in this connection now they've made up their mind they've made up their mind i do want to feel victorious i want to feel happy i want to have this peace and harmony back and they're realizing that it's because of their own indecision or their lack of making a choice that they lost out on this happiness uh they could have been spying could could be still spying watching waiting to see uh i hope this connection isn't totally ended i hope there's still some life le left in this connection uh, because why because they now they are kind of look at the amount of look at the amount of spying going on it's like well, how should i say it what should i do i hope they're not with somebody else i hope they haven't got none stuck from me they're trying to get some truth out before they can come rushing back in why because this person is very very stressed out they are thinking they are overthinking could be having nightmares they feel what if my person says i am not stuck on you anymore i'm i'm not going to forgive you you kept me as an option in your life all these thoughts i think are coming in their mind and they are like mm i don't know what to do i don't know what to do hanged man in reverse yeah they feel that person is going to say no if they all come back saying hey i made a decision now i want to come in your direction that person is going to say no i don't want i don't see your future with you anymore so why because there's been no communication i think about this topic or at all with, between the two of you eight of wands eight of wands in reverse yeah they feel that person is very strong and is holding back their energy no longer wanting to talk about these issues or at all with them and they are very frustrated they are very frustrated because they feel what if i try and go back what if i do open up what if i do open up to them and they then tell me i'm pushing you out right so this person is feeling a little hopeless because they somewhere imagine that that person is still either angry with them or uh, is no longer focused on the past they what if they've turned their life around what if they've already moved on to somebody new yeah see five of cups clarified by the five of cups in reverse this is what they're expecting why because the other person has gone totally silent on them so queen of wands in reverse queen of wands in reverse yeah this this person is feeling 
angry with themselves. They, they are a little angry with themselves right now because I think they were, they were the ones who were playing the mind games or they were not emotionally open. They're angry because they feel now, what if I've lost out? I've lost out on this soulmate. What if my person has... the, re, the Why they're thinking like this is because they feel that person is no longer wanting to communicate or maybe has another option. What if they've already healed? What if they've already found a new soulmate? Right? So they are a little apprehensive. That's why they're spying all the time. They could be a bit scared that their person is going to say no. And may maybe there's, there's already a third party. Uh, they are, I think, yeah, they're, they're a little overwhelmed and worried that their person has a passionate brand new beginning elsewhere. Why are they looking so happy? Maybe they've already transformed their life. Yes, this person is very, this person is overthinking the situation to the limit. And they're very burdened and overwhelmed by it. Very burdened. So, Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords? What's the Six of Swords? Yes, this person... They find it difficult to express themselves, I feel. I, feel, I think they find it very difficult to express themselves. King of Cups in reverse. And then the second reason why they find, they're finding it difficult now to express themselves is because they feel what if this attractive person who I want to now heal things with has already moved on to somebody new. So they may try and come in a little sl slow and small uh, just to test the waters. They want to you know kind of come in gently gently maybe give a small little offer before they can test the waters and then maybe you know make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, they just want to know first whether the chapter is still open. It's like, I just want to test the waters to say, will they allow me back in? Could they, in their mind, the reason why they are stuck at crossroads is because they, they kind of are scared that that person is going to push them away or have strong boundaries or have somebody else or cut their head off or not accept their apology. So, this person definitely does want to come back, but they're not sure of what they're going, coming back for or what they can expect. So, yes, they may come in with very small offers of, hey, let's be friends or, you know, hi, happy new year or whatever. But the underlying reason is to test to see whether the chapter is still open, whether they can then offer this stable brand new beginning. That's what I have for you. Till next time then, Pisces, love and light. Take care. Namaste.